I'm a huge fan of the open world in gaming. When done well, there is no more engaging experience to be had. Throw me in a jungle with a machete and say go here, then pepper in some bad guys and car chases. Unfortunately, the concept was lost on Far Cry 2, a game riddled with your need to do the same thing over and over and over and over again. This guy might know a little something about that. So what does he plan on doing to change it? Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Far Cry 3, released on PC, PS3, and Xbox 360 on December 4th, has improved greatly upon its predecessor. You take the role of Jason Brody, an athletic daredevil who's out celebrating with his group of young, attractive friends on a remote island. When who'd have thunk it, things go badly. Jumping out of airplanes, flying like birds. Suddenly, you're tasked with rescuing your buddies from the clutches of a deliciously evil Voss and his human trafficking network. You are so the end. Come on! Having played the game myself on an Xbox 360, I was very impressed with the look and feel of Far Cry 3. Although to achieve graphical bliss, you'll definitely want to run it on a PC. Controls were tight for the most part, and combat was excellent. There's a satisfying variety of guns and equipment available to take down your foes, and a skill tree opens progressively as you make your way through the available missions. A simple thing that impressed me was the requirement to perform actions relevant to skills you wish to upgrade. For example, a skill that silences your footsteps requires you to take down enemy encampments without being spotted. Other skills require you to retrieve various plants and animal skins from the wild, which gives you a decent incentive to explore the world around you. Collecting leaves is just about as thrilling as it sounds, but things get interesting when a giant-ass tiger is pouncing at your face. Even more enticing, though, is the exploration of ancient ruins, and the ability to reclaim forts from pirates, which then become incredibly useful fast travel locations. Discovering these hideouts is made easier by unveiling more of the world map. To do this, Jason must climb radio towers and unscramble their signal, a la Assassin's Creed, except in the place of a pile of hay, you now get a zip line. Zipping through the jungle is awesome, but even better is the inclusion of several gliders placed at high points throughout the island. I mean, sure, you can drive around in a truck or a four-wheeler, but few things provide the majestic bliss of gliding across a glowing blue ocean. Great. You didn't mention the cave was underwater. The structure of these additions is a small but noticeable improvement over the dull, repetitive exploration in Far Cry 2. What was once a mind-numbing task has now become a fun deviation from the main story. <laughs> In regards to the main story, there is nothing spectacular here. A solid narrative full of fear and revenge with a few acid trip sci-fi hallucinations mixed in. Setting it apart is what is easily one of the best character performances of the last decade. Michael Mondo as Voss. I'm sorry, I don't like the way you are looking. A lineup of other solid voice talents perform well too, but Voss sets himself apart as a deranged sociopath who quickly turns the island paradise into a living hell. Why aren't you laughing now like you did up there? But is this not fun anymore? Have I failed to entertain you? You see, the thing is, up there, you thought you had a chance. The roller coaster ride of the main plot is good, but suffers a bit from restriction. There were several instances where I failed a mission simply for traveling too far in a certain direction. The game holds your hand very forcefully in these circumstances, but otherwise will take off the leash and let you roam free. Pick off enemies from a distance, sleuth your way in with a blade, or just go guns blazing and grenades exploding. Far Cry 3 delivers in a big way for the series. A massive open world filled to the brim with missions and content will easily provide you with 50 plus hours of entertainment. A few graphical glitches will be a nuisance, but Far Cry 3 easily stands tall as one of the best shooters this year. But then again, what do I know? I barely played it. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity?